I don't know how anti how anti American they are right now, but um, I, I can guarantee you that they um, they're not pro American, but I don't know how anti American they are. That's probably the best way that I could put it. Um, but for the safety of missionaries, it all comes down to what you talk about. You make it very, very clear in your everyday language, in um, in how you dress and how you act around people in and outside of the apartment, that you are there for the church. You are there for the Savior. You're there for the gospel. You're there to bring people joy. Um, and if that is the case, then you're, you're fine. Um, nobody's, I mean, been dramatically hurt, uh, in Serbia in my day. Um, it's, it's a safe, it's a safe place. Like it really is. As long as, you know, you, you make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to. Um, Yeah, it's it's about as safe as, as every country that you that uh, you go to. I mean, I've had friends um, who went to Brazil and they tell us you know stories and they say, yeah, we were just being stupid, you know, or they're like, oh, it was just an unfortunate event, like, yeah, we got mobbed or you know whatever. But um, as far as Serbia goes, yeah, it's it's perfectly fine. I've had we've had missionaries or even myself like um, get verbally abused. Um, and then we've had, or some other abuse, and then we've had missionaries um, who have absolutely nothing. To them. Maybe a little bit of verbal abuse, but that's like the max of what they go through. So I, I really can't tell you, nor would I be comfortable uh, with, with saying <laughs> some of the different experiences that, that I went through. But overall, as long as you do what you do, you're obedient, you are blessed, and... Um, People in Serbia are, are great to work with, they're great to, to communicate with, they're um, great all around to, to be around.